Hello everybody, today I will talk about Bachelor of International Business Management or IBM. Um, this is a bachelor, bachelor program of Artevelde University College um, and this um, bachelor includes um, actually just business management but in a more international way. Um, mm. So all courses are given in English and all courses are linked, um, to all subjects are linked um, to a more international um, way of thinking and international relationship. So what will we look at today is mainly to the subjects and a small piece of advice on the subjects. So here you can see all the subjects in the program of 2016-2017 of IBM. So the first year you can see that it consists out of two semesters. So you have semester A and semester B. Um, you see here the numbers at the right side. These are the credits. Um, every subject that you can see here um, has. So this subject accounting is five credits. This means that you have to work one credit is, is 25 hours. Um, average 25 hours. So this means that you have to work 125 hours for this course to accomplish it. Um, so yeah, this counts for all um, the numbers you can see here. So yeah, for when we look at accounting, what is accounting? Accounting is accounting, but this is, um, in this accounting program, you will see uh, the difference between um, American accounting and European accounting, IFRS. So here you will have just normal accounting lessons, but linked between the European and American uh, way of accounting. Uh, then you have Talent and Management Development 1. Uh, this course um, talks for itself. It will develop your talent and your management skills. So in this course, you will uh, learn how to use your talents, how to appreciate your talent, and how to um, appreciate your management skills and how to use them. And you get additional tips and um, yeah, that's it. And the main thing about this course, it's a really fun course to take because um, there's a lot of interaction between um, students and the teachers and between students and the, there are a lot of uh, discussions you can have. So it's a really fun course um, um, to attend. Uh, then we have business economics. Um, this um, is just um, not regular economics, but this is uh, mainly focused on um, um two types of economics the managerial uh, part of economics and the more uh, logistic part of economics um and it's and it's linked as well to normal economics that you can see here in the second semester um so it's linked to normal economics as well where um you will see a bit of macro and micro um economics um, so then here we have International Business English, um, because this is an international course and not uh, by uh, English native speakers, um, uh, will in this course be explained the, the tricks and the, um, the elements of English, so how to use them in business, um, uh, in business situations. Um, so yeah, this is what this course uh, uh, subject will do. Then we have marketing management, a very inter interesting um, pro uh, subject as well. Uh, marketing um, really goes yeah, fully about marketing and it's um, a very good insight and a very interactive lesson uh, with the teacher and you will see um, the full marketing process of a company and how to do it um, with a lot of exercises. So quite fun to do. Uh, then we have ICT, and in ICT, we'll, it's just a general um, ICT course. You will see uh, basis of Word, um, Excel, um, OneNote, how to use Outlook, um, but mainly you will look at Excel and have a, a big um, uh, assignment at the end of the year where you will have to use all everything you have learned out of Excel and Word. So that this is ICT. Then we go to semester B. Uh, we will see here foreign languages. In the IBM course, you will have, um, ch uh, you can choose out of four uh, foreign languages that you can see here. That's French, German, Spanish, and Chinese. Uh, so 
I chose French, but you can choose one of these four languages and you will have here start on these four languages. In this uh, four language class, you will learn the language, um, but you will not learn the language only in a um, normal way, but as well more in a business way. So you will use uh, learn more business vocabulary than uh, regular vocabulary. Um, for French, you uh, will need already um, a basis of... Um, of the language, other three languages, German, Spanish, and Chinese, start from zero. Um, and this is only one part of this, uh, this is only one semester in the second year, you have it a full year. Um, then we have logistic and supply chain management, management speaks for itself. You will look at logistics, it's a really interesting course with a lot of um, seminars you have to attend, but they're all very interesting. Then you have banking and finance, uh, one of the more difficult courses. Um, and here you will, yeah, um, look at all everything from banking to um, uh, and banking uh, situations, uh, different forms of paying, um, financial in institutions. So yeah, you will see a lot of different um, uh, financial uh, things here. Then you have international business communication, uh, communication skills. Excuse me. Uh, this course is a very interesting course, and here you will learn all the. Um, elements uh, of international business so you will learn how to communicate with different um, different cultures on business uh, levels you you will learn uh, etiquettes that you and uh, that you have to use you can uh, for example you, for you will learn how to uh, work with Asian cultures um, Arabic cultures European cultures uh, then the cultures in Europe German French uh, so you will see a lot of different cultures and it's a really interesting course and um, then we go to a uh, law law is just law you will learn more international um law but this is still mainly a uh, belgian law because it's really uh, hard to teach a general international law uh, then you have economics and in this course it's similar to business economics uh, but a bit but this is mainly um, macro and micro, um, micro economics these are the two you will see in here so then we go to the second year and in the second year you can see as well a lot of courses on the menu and uh, as well the first one we'll see is international strategy international strategy um, is mainly about one big assignment that you have to make through the year and you will um, look you have to examine a strategy of a business so here um, you will look at how to how this business make strategies uh, how they make decisions etc international marketing and research here you will um, yeah is as well a marketing and research so here this consists out of three courses actually um, international uh, two courses excuse me marketing and research so how to do research and what kind of research they are and what kind of marketing uh, strategies there are and um, this course is marketing is similar to the course we can see in the first year uh, marketing um, then we have a foreign language this will uh, this is a follow-up on what you chose in the first year did you chose French you will go through it French here and here did you chose um, Spanish you will keep doing Spanish um, then we have international business communication this is um, mainly as well like here international um, business English but here we'll look more on how to communicate through different uh, forms of media um, with um, business partners like mail telephone um, websites etc and uh, then e-skills is a um, is a course that will mainly look at uh, to develop your skills um your competences in electronic uh, in using of um the internet so you will learn how to use um the basics of powerpoint um outlook how to manage your mail um how to do proper research what kind of websites there are. you have to make a website it's a very interesting course definitely for further um business uh, life because you learn a lot of things that you wouldn't just learn when just attending or just uh, tr storing around on the internet then sales and procurement is um, about how to do sales how to be a salesperson what are the traits of a salesperson etc then we have operation excellence Operation Excellence is linked to uh, to ERP, and in this course, it's a very uh, in interesting course. You will look at um, one 
ERP. This, you will learn to work with a um, logistic program that is really used in businesses. You will have to make exercises with it. And another thing is um, quality management. So you will look at the quality of products um, and how quality control is done in companies. Very interesting. Then we have talent and management development two. This is practically the same as talent and management development one, but with different uh, topics. Uh, then people management, uh, this will look at um, people management is about um, the interaction between people. So the interaction between the customers and businesses and how to maintain a proper communication between them. Financial management and tax. Here you can see, uh, you here will learn about tax regulations, how to implement them in your business and how to um, arrange your financials. Um, international trade is again looking at the international aspect of trade and the different protectionism rules um, how to fully implement um, and fully do uh, international trade and what what are, what are the things you have to look for uh, and what are really important to look at like government issues protectionism taxes you have to pay import duties like that then in, we looked at foreign languages and international business communication. This is the same as international business A, um, business communication A, but with different topics as well. And then business ethics is like, um, you could see it as um, religion, but this is not religious. It's just uh, learning ethics for businesses, what you have to keep in mind when to in business, what are the values of business, doing business, and uh, what are the consequences of business? It's a very good and interesting course. Then the third year gets really interesting. What you can see here is semester A and semester B. Um, this is a really interesting year because you can see here a lot of different courses, but what they actually do is you will have to go abroad. In the first semester, semester A here, you can see European business, international business. This is um, studying abroad. So um, you will have to choose a university when going abroad and study there for four months. And this will be evaluated at the end here. It's a really interesting thing. And I think it will be a great opportunity to learn new, um, uh, learn new uh, cultures and just to have a fully different side on business. It will be really great. Um, then the second semester, you have to do an internship. So this is, so in these two uh, courses, you will, these two semester, uh, semesters, you're full, you're full year abroad, two times four months. And so here you will have to do an internship in a company and here you will have to do, uh, here you will have to do an internship in a company and do a bachelor project, a big project and develop a business plan. And in semester A, you will have to do a, a study abroad. So this is the third year. So I hope this gave you a better view about the first, second, and third year of IBM. Uh, it's it's a very interesting um, course, and I can advise it to everybody. Then we'll just have a quick look at um, the third year, the foreign experience where you can study, uh, because the internship you will have to choose yourself in the second year, but for the in for the um, um, business uh, for the studying abroad, you have to choose out of several universities. You can go here to internas uh, internationalization, and here you just get a list of all the universities you can go to. International partners. Uh, so here you can see all the universities. Yeah. So here you can see that you can go almost everywhere in the world. A lot of in America, Canada. South America, Asia, and a lot of in Europe. So we look in, we can go to Aruba, Belgium, Curaçao, Denmark, Germany, Spain, France, Lyon, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Norway, Austria, Poland, Finland, Turkey, United Kingdom, Switzerland, USA, Canada, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, India, St. Petersburg, Russia, China, Vietnam. So you see you have a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, things you can go to. Um, so yeah, this gives you the perfect opportunity to just look where you want to go. Um, do you want to go to America? Do you want to go to Canada? Do you want to go to South America? Do you want to go to India? Do you want to go to China, South Korea, um, Ch um, Vietnam? Europe, France, Spain, you have a lot of choice in this. So this is a 
you can say that international business management is a program with a lot of um, added value and I would highly appreciate to um, for you to go and follow this program um, and it gives you the perfect opportunity to keep studying afterwards so yeah, I hope this um, gave you some insight on what is international business management and um, thank you for watching.